Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add localization to your Xamarin Forms app. So let's start out by creating an empty Xamarin Forms project. Let's just call it localization. That seems good. And let's create a project. Okay, now we got our empty project. But since this code is most likely small to you, let me just bump the font up. I think 16 would be sufficient here. And 16 here. And 14 here. Okay. I hope you can see this better now. Okay. First, let's add our multilingual plugin, which you can find on GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description, of course. So let's find the NuGet link. Copy this over. <clears throat> Plug not multilingual and add this to our Xamarin Forms project as well as our client projects. On Windows, adding NuGet packages is a little bit different, but you most likely have encountered it if you were working with .NET for any amount of time. Okay, so now we added all our packages. The next thing we need to do is create our resource files. So let's go to add, new file, misc resource file and let's call this app resources. Okay, so what does this app resources file do? Uh, this file basically is used for us to store our default string values so most likely your default values are in English so if you cannot find the language that the user needs if you I don't know say have English Spanish Arabic and I don't know Portuguese then it will go to this default file and take all those values so maybe uh, most likely your default values are going to be in English but that's of course dependent on the app you need so Let's try and add some values here. If you're on Windows, uh, you won't get this kind of XML syntax. You'll get a nice little table and then you can insert the name and the value. But if you're on Mac like me, you'll have to do it like this. Okay, so now we're on the multilingual plugin page and we'll just take, we'll just take it from the sample how a certain string should look, multilingual sample, and let's go to appresources.resx, and this data attribute is what we need. So let's paste that, and it's welcome, and here is the value. This is the name of your string, so let's say if I want to have this in Spanish, I would copy this over to our Spanish file, still name this welcome, but this value is going to be different. Uh, also on Windows, you just go to another file and put this name into the name column and into the value column, you put the value in Spanish. So let's create a version, let's create a new file for Spanish, but let's first delete this designer file. Okay, delete. And now let's copy this file here, copy, paste, do we want to save, of course we want to, okay, and now let's rename this file, app resources, now, here I'm going to put it to be in Spanish, so I'll set .en.resx, actually not .en, I'm sorry, .es for Spanish locale, I think that's how it's pronounced. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Okay, that's it. Let's also delete this designer stuff. Okay. I mean, it's going to get out the generated, but when copying, it can make some problems. At least it did for me. So let's now add. Okay, we have this label here. Now let's set the label text not to be hard coded but to be pulled from this app resources.resx file so how are we going to do that 
Uh, again, let's go to this example over here. Now we'll go a couple directories back and you see this helper us folder. Go in, see this translate extensions.cs. Now we're going to copy it. And now we're going to create a new folder. Let's just call it helpers. And we're going to add a new class, new C sharp class. It's going to be called translate extension. Okay. Now we'll remove all of this, and that's it. Okay, so now we have to rename this multilingual sample namespace to our localization namespace. Since this is how our app is called, we have to do that over here. And we also have to do it over here. And that's basically it. Now we can use our localized resources. First of all, let me clean this up a little so it's a little more visible. Okay, now we have to declare an XML namespace. XML namespace helper helpers is equal to. Now I'll just copy this from here since I don't get autocomplete within Visual Studio for Mac dot helpers. Okay. Now this is how we add our string. Helpers translate it is going to most likely automatically recognize it. And let me see again what the variable has been called. Welcome. Okay, let's copy that over. And welcome. Now the one thing I forgot is to add the resource to our Spanish. Okay, I actually added it, but it's not in Spanish. So let me translate that. Okay, now we changed it up. I did this on Google Translate, so if it's wrong, please forgive me. Okay, now let's run this app. Okay, now that our app is launched, we can see welcome to my app text. That is because we didn't set our language locale, but if we set it, it would be a little bit different story. Most likely you're going to want to set your locale in your app class constructor before any of your pages are launched. But of course, see what your app needs and then do it like that. So, I think it's cross multi multilingual yes it is dot current dot current culture info is equal to new culture info now let's import that namespace and set it to English now you may notice that nothing will change and of course you will be right because we set it to en and it looks through all the en file through all the app resources files and doesn't find any en files so it goes to the default one and as we said it says welcome to my app but now let's change it to es and see what happens and as you can see it put our spanish text right over here now, in most of your apps, you most likely want to have like a screen where you uh, give the user the option to select what language does he want, and then you set it, and then you do it like this, new culture info and whatnot. But I think it's the best uh, before the user even gets a chance to get to that screen. On the first time the app is started, we set the current culture info to the language that is basically on the device. So let's see how are we going to do that. Okay, so how are we going to do it? Let's delete this and go cross multilingual dot current dot device culture imp. And this is basically going to go to the device settings and see if it and see what language is it set to. And if it has the and if our app has the resources for that language, it's going to set the locale to that resource. And if not, it's going to use the default one. So since my uh, simulator here is set to English it will pretty much do nothing except write it in English so let's go to settings and change it 
change the language to Spanish. Okay. General language, iPhone language. Espanol, done. Change to Spanish. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to our home page and run the app again. Okay, and as we predicted, it's going to show our Spanish language. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you liked the video, click the like button and also subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, contact me on my Instagram in the comments or on my email. I will of course check it and as soon as I can, I will respond to you. See you next time.